guys, today we're going to have a look at something a little bit different on the electrical side. I have with me here my Fluke T110 Voltage Tester or Voltage Probe. Um, the probe comes with quite a nice storage mechanism, um, such as this, which is actually used for opening some of those flat pin sockets which have got the protection on. Uh, this does detach and when you have your two probes, this can be used to insert into a two pin socket which is quite handy for quick checking or you can separate your probes and you've got your hot and your neutral probes uh, for going around your DB box, plug sockets, whatever and doing testing. Um, the meter does have the function for continuity testing which is quite handy for just checking a wire, conductor, insulator, whatever the case may be. It also includes a basic little torch um, just for checking things out and uh, making sure there's no uh, Nunu is waiting for you in dark places when you're going and measuring voltage and um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's great for simple use uh, if you just need to get an indication of voltage uh, to check for something if it's hot or not in other words if it's alive or not, if it's safe for you to work on and for those basic scenarios basically it's not meant to replace a dedicated multimeter or digital multimeter or any multimeter for that for that standard but it does give you an indication of DC AC volts from 12 to 690 I've tested it down to 9 but it cannot give you an indication of 9 it just shows you 12 I have used it for checking continuity, for checking live circuits and stuff like that, uh, for tracing circuits and for all sorts of general stuff. So let's have a look at this thing on the bench. Hey guys, so let's take a look at this uh, Fluke T110 voltage tester. Uh, you get various models in this range. Uh, the model that I have is the T110 because I thought if I'm going to go in with a T150 or one of those with a meter on it then I may as well make use of one of my multimeters or something to get the job done. I want the probe to be basic, simple, quick to use and uh, pretty much the only thing the bigger models have is the LCD display. Again like I said not really needed because um, this is meant to replace uh, my traditional sort of voltage stick that I would use uh, for checking hot circuits. We do use the non-contact sticks as well but sometimes you actually need a probe with a bit of a voltage so you can actually check what the voltage is. This one here can do AC and DC. It can tell you whether it's AC or DC. The polarity of the DC, if it is DC, the phase rotation. It can also check continuity and it can simulate an earth leakage uh, at a very basic level. It also has a built-in torch which is quite nice. So these little guys really do have a, an advantage for an electrician going in to see an installation and I'm basically going to go through some of the basic um, use uh, sort of samples of this unit so you guys can see how it works see what sort of display it gives off and uh, we can go from there here we have use scenario one we've got a 12 volt power supply DC we basically jack in it tells us we've got 12 volts polarity positive DC if we were to reverse this it would show us polarity negative, so now we know the negative is on the positive probe, 12 volts. So there you have the sort of basic DC application of one of these probes. Um, just to show you guys as well, you have the continuity feature where it can check continuity, which is quite nice. Um, and now we're going to take a look at a couple of AC uh, 230 volt rails and uh, see what it's all about. Nice advantage is this unit does clip together the negative and the positive creating a sort of two pin socket tester per se but it only works with the two pin sockets and let's throw 230 volts at it and there you can see 230 volts it's high voltage danger AC and we've got a left rotation um, on the phase rotation so that's uh, quite simple it um, basically lets you know um, what's actually going on. A uh, very nice uh, little portable tester. Hey everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys different ways of measuring mains voltage uh, starting with the Fluke T110 uh, test probe over here. Um, the way it should be done is you remove your insulation and you have your two probes. Now personally I believe in not having more than one sort of points in, in the air, but I mean if you wanted to test phase to phase for example, we could go like that and it will show us, right, we have 400 volts AC um, showing up on the tester and against the other phase we should have the same thing, there we go, 400 volts AC 
So we know this is our three phases over here. Down here we have our neutral bar. So between the neutral bar and there we have 230 volts here in South Africa. Now just to check that, we basically can connect across here to here and there you'll have your 230 volts display showing up and we can actually see a rotation left on this one again same and on this one again same they're all 230 volts the phase to phase is about 400 volts here so there you have it that was a basic um, test of using the probe to check uh, circuits if, if a circuit is hot or not so Let's say, for example, you've, you've, you've traced it down to this circuit over here that you need to work on, and you need to make sure that circuit is dead. Now, that is a single phase circuit breaker. So you would go from your test point over here, and then you would throw it onto that um, point over there. Okay, it's currently live. Turn it off, check that it's dead, and move on. Again, using one hand as much as possible. Now, if you're not using one of these test probes, and you're using a multimeter, there's a few things you need to know. One of them is make sure that your meter is safe and it has a fairly decent cap rating such as this Bremen TBM812 or the 829s or any of these which are capped for 1000 volts. You can switch it onto AC volts like so and then again you could take your probes pretty much phase to phase same as we did before and measure and then we've got our 408.4 volts, 50 hertz. Uh, let's put the light on. There you go. 408.2 volts, 50 hertz. Uh, all very well. And then, of course, you can also check from, let's say, your negative bar to your terminal, and you'll have your 230 volts, 50 hertz. Very nice. So that is a simple way of checking if a circuit is live or not. Guys, it's very important to take note of safety when working in DB boxes, safety glasses, uh, some nice insulated gloves or something, just so that if you do touch something that's hot, you're not going to get electrocuted. And also, if there is an arc explosion or anything like that in one of these DBs, you don't get uh, any eye damage or anything like that. So it's very important that you take care of all PPE standards, especially when working in a three-phase DB such as this one over here. Guys, they are dangerous, so please, Take note, don't try this at home at le unless you actually have an understanding of what's going on inside one of these meter boxes or one of these switch boxes. Thanks for watching.